Hi guys, welcome to day 14 of the 15 day resistance bands and abs challenge. All you need for this challenge is a resistance band. If it's your first time here, you can go back to day one, start from there, or you can just do this workout today. Right guys, remember to like this video please and also subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you get notified each time I post a new workout. I also have a website www.herworkoutswork.com I've got freebies there for you guys, free workout challenges, digital workout plans that you can pick up and let's get started. We're starting off with squats, 40 seconds. Make sure your resistance band is slightly above your knees. When you go down, I want you to push up through your heels and squeeze your bum on your way up. And always remember to engage your core. Right, and you're halfway there. Good, 10 seconds to go. Right, take a 10 second break. Okay, up next we've got diagonal backward lunges. Okay, diagonal backward lunges. You're going to do a backward lunge and just go from corner to corner. Remember to engage your core throughout the movement and keep your back straight as straight as you possibly can. So you're gonna go slightly to the side of your front leg on the one side and then the other side. Good, take a 10 second break. Okay, up next we're doing a squat. Squat for 40 seconds. Remember guys, you're pushing up through your heels and squeeze your bum on your way up. Okay, and you're halfway there. Keep that tummy nice and tight. Ten seconds to go. Okay guys, I want you to pace yourself on this workout. It's 20 minutes long. Almost 20 minutes. It's 19 minutes and 20 seconds. Okay, take a 10 second break. Up next, we're going to repeat that diagonal backward lunge on the other leg. It actually looks like I might have repeated this on the same leg. Guys, don't worry about me. That was my mistake. You should change your leg. And you're halfway there. Okay, guys, as I was saying, pace yourself. Go at your own pace as long as you don't give up. The workout is quite long. And remember to stop and have some water every time you need to. But don't take too long of a break. Okay, 10 seconds rest. Up next, we've got a two pulse squat. Okay, we're getting into it now. Two pulse squat for 40 seconds. Go down into a squat position, bounce twice and come back up. Push up through your heels. Squeeze your bum on your way up. And engage that core. Okay, you're halfway there. Go right down into a squat. Squeeze your bum on your way up. Good, take a 10 second break. Right guys, my new favorite workout up next walking squats walking squats this burns but when i tell you 
how effective it is, you'll never stop doing it. Guys, feel the burn, feel the burn, but keep on going. Right, you're halfway there. Yep, it's burning now. My legs are on fire. Good, take a 10 second break. Okay, up next we've got a kneeling down squat. Get down onto your mat, open your legs, push against the resistance. I want you to open your knees, okay, your legs, and push against the resistance. Bend over slightly into a good morning and squeeze your bum up. All right, engage that core. When you bend over, I want you to feel the stretch in your glute. Activate that glute because this workout is targeting your bum. So squeeze your bum, bend over, and squeeze. Good, take a 10 second break. Lying down, lateral leg raise. Right, you're gonna lie down and raise your leg as high as you can. Make sure that it's straight. Okay, engage your core. And you're halfway there. Ten seconds to go. Right guys, we're almost at the end of this challenge. Let me know in the comment section down below which challenge you would like to see next. And I will create it for you. Right, up next we've got a lateral leg pulse. Same leg, don't change the leg. Now you're just going to move your leg in smaller movements, right, you're pulsing, right, this one is going to burn, but remember guys, if it doesn't challenge you, it's not going to change you, so you have to have, you have to feel some level of discomfort, it's good, you're halfway there. Ten seconds to go. Should be burning. Keep on going. Good. Ten second rest. Right. Now you're going to repeat this movement on the same leg. And you're going to go back to the first one. So you're going to raise your leg as high as you can. Bring it back down. And you're halfway there. Remember to engage that core. You'll find that when you actually engage your core, it gives you strength to lift your leg up. So that's why it's important to have a strong core. It makes it easier to do other movements. Right, up next we're doing a lateral leg raise pulse. Again. Lateral leg raise pulse. 40 seconds. Smaller movements. It should be burning. But keep on going. Ten seconds to go. Come on, don't give up now. Good, take a ten second break. Right, change your leg. 
We're going back to the first movement, lateral leg raises. Lift your leg up as high as you can. And you're halfway there. Remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it's not going to change you. It's almost over. Good, take a 10 second break. Up next, lateral leg raise pulse. Small movements. Guys, let it burn, let it burn you. Remember, we are working out. You're halfway there. This is a challenge, it's called a challenge for a reason. 10 seconds to go. Good, take a 10 second break. Up next we've got side step squat. You're gonna get up off your mat, step to the side, squat, come up, step to the other side and squat. Remember you're pushing up through your heels and you're squeezing your bum on your way up. We're targeting your quads, which are your thighs, as well as your glutes. Ten seconds to go. Go at your own pace. Good, take a 10 second break. Up next, we've got a forearm plank. Get down onto your mat. Get onto your forearms and plank. We are strengthening that core, cutting that belly fat. Hold it. And you're halfway there. Ten seconds to go. Hold it. Good. Take a ten second break. Well done. Up next we've got a forearm plank rock. I don't know what I was thinking when I was doing this challenge. Forearm plank rock. Okay, you're gonna get into a plank position and rock forwards and backwards. Keep your back nice and straight, your bum down. And you're halfway there. Guys, don't give up. If you've ever wondered why it's important to have a strong core, it helps you with good posture. It also helps you do movements. Even if you're running, having a strong core actually helps you balance better when you're running. Good, take a 10 second break. Up next, we've got hip thrust. Hip thrust for 40 seconds. Squeeze your bum up. And engage that core as always. You're halfway there. So the ability to do something correctly, to do an exercise or movement correctly stems from how strong your core is. That is why it's important to have a strong core. 
good to take a 10 second break. Up next we've got glute bridges. You're gonna go up, squeeze your bum throughout this movement and slightly open and close your legs. Push against that resistance. You should feel a pinch in your hamstrings which is the back of your thighs as well as your glutes. And you're halfway there. Ten seconds to go. Good, take a ten second break. Up next we've got a side step squat. So get up off your mat, step to the side and squat, step to the other side and squat. Go at your own pace. And you're halfway there. Good guys, take a 10 second break. Okay guys, stay with me, this workout is almost over. Up next we've got half moons, get back onto your mats. We're dealing with the fupa, okay? We're dealing with that fupa, we're fixing the country. You're gonna swing your legs from side to side, hands underneath your bum to protect your lower back. And I want you to draw a C. Okay, with your legs an upside down C remember your head is off the ground we are shaping that body good take a 10 second break up next we've got a low leg pulse low leg pulse hands underneath your bum to protect your lower back pulse those legs move them up and down keep them down keep them nice and low sorry don't touch the ground head off the ground and you're halfway there okay guys we're really dealing with the lower belly fat here you want to lose lower belly fat keep on going good take a 10 second break up next guys we're doing a bicycle crunch this should be your last exercise bicycle crunch for 40 seconds keep your head off the ground and move those legs like you're on a bicycle slowly controlled movements I really want you to feel this burn in your stomach and you're halfway there you should be feeling a sustained burn keep on going if it's not burning you're doing it wrong Well done guys, we have come to the end of this workout and I'll see you guys on day 15, bye guys.